Hey guys, CJ back here with a uh, quick video on Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. So, what Aftermath is is a it, it is, it's basically like a not even really a combat pack, but it's um uh, I think like MKX's uh, like MKXL edition type thing. So it's basically a new edition of Mortal Kombat 11 that's dropping on the 26th of May. It's a forty dollar expansion. Uh, you get three characters. You get new stages, uh, stage fatalities, friendships. Uh, what else you get? You get skin. You get like a lot of classic skins. Which don't get me wrong, I don't care about skins. But damn, that Sub Zero one sounds badass. The way people describe it. Hell yes. Or MK9 Scorpion. Let's go. Now the characters you get: Robocop, Shiva, and Fujin. As far as I understand it, um, I might be wrong there. I, I know Robocop for sure because. Uh, he sounds, you know, fucking in the trailer, Robocop. Um, personally, I'm interested in all three. I'm not crazy on Shiva or Fujin because I am not a big legacy character person. Not because, like, oh, I don't like them. It's because I wasn't around for to see these characters in the game, so I, I don't have a, don't have a, you know, like, I don't have a big thing. Like, oh, I want to see them back, see them back, see them back. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's see what's going on here. Um... I keep in the wrong name one. Um, so Fujin sounded pretty cool based on the trailer. Like he, he has a lot of screen carry, a lot of like his playstyle seemed kind of crazy. Shiva probably gonna be a grappler. She has a sound like a like a stomp pound ground pound thing, and seems like she's a grappler, similar to Terminator. Um, although honestly, probably better if she has way better range, then she'll be better than Terminator. But depends on moves and and see how and frame rate and stuff. And Robocop, I don't know how he's going to play. Um, I can think of a move already for him, because they said he's going to have a riot shield, a flamethrower, a pistol, and a shoulder, some sort of shoulder weapon. Um, I can imagine a move like like a scud shot with Aaron Black, like with a shield, and then return fire with a pistol. I can, I can see that. I can see him maybe walking in, walking you down like a, like a stance, hold down the stance, and he walks towards you with a riot shield. Or something I don't know. Um, definitely sounds interesting. And then uh, the story extension is I not I don't I mean I played the story I would I found it enjoyable it was fine. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with it because it is it's an expansion off the ending of MK11, which I did do an MK11 playthrough a long time ago, but I might do it I might do it again. I stream on Twitch upload it to YouTube. Um, but it seems like it'll be interesting. Like the where they're gonna take the story, I don't know. Um, but basically, what they're doing is they're letting the DLC one or Combat Pack one characters shine. So Night Wolf and Dallin Shank Sung are gonna be part of the expansion, so that you can play as them or, or or have them featured because they weren't in the story all that much. So there you go. Um, they probably won't be using Terminator or Joker in the story just because it, it'd be, like what? Um, but some like someone. Suggested that maybe spawn could be featured in the story like an actual crossover uh, That spawn might work if they try it like having him in the story mode like that might actually work I don't know because um, his whole like hellish uh, Style and whatever uh, You also get new stages you get the the Deadpool stage the uh, which is I think like the acid bath place basically um, and you get the soul chamber and You get two more I can't remember the names of my memory's ass they get skins like, uh, like I said, you get like MK Deception Sub Zero, I think it was MK Nine Scorpion. You get a you get a classic ninja thing for Frost, which I mean that sounds kind of cool. Nin Frost, nin Ninja Frost. Uh, I'm missing friendships stages skins. What was I missing? Stage fatalities, I think I missed it all. So this expansion is gonna be forty bucks. So. If you don't spend the 40, you don't get the expansion or the characters, but you get the, I think you get stages, stage fatalities, and friendships. But the DLC skins, the DLC characters, and the uh, story, like, an addition thing is um, 40 bucks. Which, 40 bucks for a more story, three characters, and some classic, classic skins, that's not too bad. Forty bucks is what is is you know about what if you're spending like each character is going to be like fifteen bucks or five bucks individually, and then story like it, the main chunk of it's going to be the characters and the story is what what why it costs forty bucks and then you know, maybe like five or ten for the skins. 
I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely interested in it. I know my my voice isn't showing motion, but I'm interested. I want to see how they all play. Um, and as soon as it drops, I'll be streaming with the new characters and 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 mess around with them, see what we can learn and figure out, see what the play style is, variations, special moves. Um, so if you guys want to see a blind man try these new characters, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. And thanks guys for watching.